Hey everybody, Raymond back with another video. It's been a while since the last one. I've been busy doing lots of repairs. We had Texas Pinball Festival. All kinds of stuff have happened in the last year. But, uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of repairs and a lot of scrapping of old boards. And I end up with these piles of CPUs. And the hard part is, is okay, you know, when do I go around testing them? You know, I could fix a board and then you know, just go through and just populate CPU after CPU after CPU, and, and that works for some, but others it's it's kind of hard you know, to always have a board laying around to test those. So I was looking around eBay at just various pieces of test equipment, and a, a set of them caught my eye. And this is the first one, and it's Central Oregon PC is the seller on eBay, and I'll put that in the chat, or not chat, but in the comment section. And they sell these little boards. This one happens to be the 8080 test board. And it's got the uh, section on here, the voltage inverter, to give you the uh, minus 5, the plus 5, and the plus 12. It's got LEDs down here to indicate that as well. Some buttons to try a couple of different tests. And some LEDs that will show you which buttons that you've pushed and, and show you some, some things that run. You've got a set of headers here, which can be used with some additional adapters to hook up additional types of CPUs and then you have the socket itself with pin one up here in the upper corner and I'll open up this other bag over here slide these into view what we have here are some different adapters so we've got the Zillog Z80 we've got the NSC 800 and we've got the Intel 8085 and so these will just snap on top of this board to expand it out and let you do a few different types of CPUs. You've got a reset button up here and you've got a connection here for USB port and they recommend about oh, 800 milliamps on this one. I've got a two and a half amp wall wart there with a USB socket on it so I just plug that in. Now your CPUs will just simply go in here. Like I said pin one is up here towards the upper right away from you. Let's drop an Intel 8080 in there. Flip the switch and then we get our LEDs running. Now in this case they're blue. They're different colors on the different boards. And so I can push the buttons here and it'll, if I hold it down it shows me the first button's pushed. And since it's doing four buttons and there's eight LEDs, it just repeats it over to the right. Hit button two. Hit button three. And then button four. And this one's interesting because it's counting in binary. So this CPU is good, and if you get nothing on it, yeah, you've got a dead CPU. I've got this old Intel one here that you power on, and it's dead. does nothing. So we know this one can be chucked into the bin. Now the adapters are pretty simple. Let's just take that Z80 off the foam. And the way they pack them, they, they come with the, all the pins on them pretty straight. I have yet to find one that I have to straighten the pins on. And that kind of stuff makes me happy because that's really a pain in the neck to order stuff off eBay and get it in and it's all in you know some kind of horrible condition. Now just make sure that it's off before you do that. Let's open up the socket, put the first Z80 in. And there we go. So it makes it really simple to go through and, and check. You know, it's gonna run a check some on the uh, the ROM here and run some calculations and you know nothing super duper hardcore but I mean it shows you that the CPU is at least running and executing instructions and I could populate you know CPU after CPU after CPU through this thing and just run through and do some you know quick checks and make sure that out of this pile of CPUs I've got a, a smaller pile of ones that are running code and able to uh, be used in a circuit, you know, to, to run further. You know, they're not testing all the interrupts and DMA connections and everything like that. So, you know, you may find some other things wrong with it, but if you have a pile of them like I do and, and need to run some quick tests just to verify them, then you can. Now this CPU, you might notice on the pins inside here that they're they're really grungy, really disgusting looking. This was a CPU that looked dead. I went ahead and polished up the pins on it, slapped it in here, and boom, it runs just fine. 
You know, it's one of those things that you can quickly check something without plugging it into a socket, you know, and dirtying up a, a socket on a game board. And for cleaning that up, I just simply use the, the typical you know, fiberglass pencil. You, know, you can pick these up. Less than $7 at fries.com. I highly recommend them. They are wonderful for cleaning legs on, on ICs. They're not like doing sandpaper. You know, it's not like doing, you know, scraping the pens. It's very gentle on them. And it's easier to use on chip legs than, say, a um, pencil eraser. So there's a, a small part of my pile of Z80s. We can unplug this. Plug in the 8085 adapter. And toss in some 8085s. It's not every day you get a, a Phoenix board set in the shop that you can just go ahead and populate CPU after CPU for testing the chips that are sitting on the bench. But with this, it's it's real simple to get it out, plug it in, run some checks, and you know make sure that your 8085s are you know, pass a go no go check. And the seller offers these for other CPUs as well. They've got them for the Signetix 2650, the Intel X86, so you look at the 8086, 8088, which also do 186 and 188s, plus the 8087 floating point chip. And then there's a 6500 slash 6800, which will do all the various 6500 and 6800 CPUs you can think of. And I'll be covering those as well. They have some more like 4004, 4040, 8008, and some others. Those are ones I have not purchased yet, so you won't see anything from me on a video for those. But it's a nice setup. You know, you'll probably pay, I think, around 179 or 189, something like that, on eBay for this tester with the additional sockets to test. You know, so you can do the 8080s, 8080As, the NSC 800s, the Z80s, the Intel 8085s. And you might have noticed when I was doing the, uh, the Z80s, there was one in there that was an NEC, a couple of Zillogs, an SGS. So, you know, it'll test a variety of different ones. The NEC ones, these are both, uh, I'm sorry, the 8085s, these are both from NEC. So you're not limited to a specific manufacturer. And these things can also tell you if there are specific bugs in the CPUs, you know, if they're well-known bugs. And I'll get more into that when we talk about the 6502 series, you know, the 6500 family, and that particular tester. But for now, thumbs up. This thing's great for a go-no-go -go on these CPUs. And uh, for being able to test a large variety of different ones, these little guys are uh, nice bits of kit to add to the toolbox. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.